the verify mode on a calculator will tell us whether something is true or false. To access this, you need to press the mode button. And we're normally in number one, which is the computation mode. And we're going to go for verify, which is number four. So you press four. And here we have true or false. Let's say the question is expand five brackets 3x minus 1. And we've done our workings out and we've worked out that this is 15x minus 5. And we want to check whether we are correct. So we type in the left hand side first 5 bracket 3, and we're going to use the alpha button to give us the x minus 1 close the brackets now we can't use this equals we need to use the equals that's in verify mode so we press shift and then we got number two here with written in yellow says verify and we're going to use the equals sign in this little function here so we press number one and on the right hand side we type what we think the answer is so we thought it was 15x minus 5 we type that in 15 the alpha function to get the x minus and when I press equals down here, it tells me that this is true. So my answer is correct. If I replay this and I change my minus 5 to a minus 1, and now I press equals, it's telling me that it's false. This is a great little trick to use in an exam to check or verify whether your answer is correct or not. We could check an answer to a factorizing question. For example, factorize 8x squared minus 12x. What have we got here then? Well, we hoped maybe we get the answer 4x brackets. And then we've got 2x minus 3. Close the bracket. There we go. We want to see if this is true. So we type it in the left hand side, 8, going to use the alpha function again, x squared minus 12, alpha function with the x, and then we've got to go, not this equals, we've got to be in the verify function, so we press shift, number 2, use that equals there, which is by pressing number 1, and then that equals 4, alpha, x and then a bracket 2 alpha x minus 3 close the bracket press this equals and it says it's true so my answer is correct if we press the replay button and let's change the x here to just a 4 and press equals and it's false interestingly you might not fully factorize your answer so if we put a squared in here and an x in there that is still true so we haven't fully factorized so we wouldn't get full marks but it will tell us that this part is true so you just got to be careful there let's do one more so we could use this for factorizing a quadratic 6x squared minus 5x minus 4 equals and i think it's 2x plus 1 multiplied by 3x minus 4. now i could type in the brackets here and check whether the expansion is correct or i can type in the original one here and check whether my factorizing is correct it doesn't matter which one you type in first so i'm going to do 6 use the alpha function again to get x squared minus 5 alpha function get the x there minus 4 and not this equals remember verify mode shift press number 2 then it's number 1 type in this side brackets 2 alpha function x plus 1 close the brackets open the second set of brackets 3 alpha function x take away 4 close brackets equals and it's true this is a great little calculator hack for a calculator exam.